How you doing? Ah, still it. Lost horse tank, and I don't know if you, I'm gonna show you right here. There's a bunch of people that showed up. And I gave him my spot, because it was a really, really large area. And there's like three people, three different vehicles, and they got a bunch of dune buggies. So I kind of gave it to him. I was like, you guys can have it. I was leaving in the morning anyway, so I figured I'd just give them the good spot, and then I'll take off. That's how you do it, people. I have one vehicle, and they have three plus trailers, so I figured, yeah. I, trust me, I've been in there for seven days and I felt kind of guilty just being here because it's such a sweet spot. It's like per perfectly up on the hill, great view of everything. I'll be back. That's the beautiful thing about BLM, especially with the wind. Hopefully it doesn't. The beautiful thing about BLM is it's always going to be there, hopefully. As long as the asshole doesn't stick up a sign and say day use only. And I'll just end up running it over. I didn't even see the sign. But yeah. So this is probably one of my favorite spots so far. Even though there's a freeway in the middle of the night, it's just, it's quiet. It's beautiful. Not a lot of people. I mean, if you want to pan out for a minute, there's like maybe five groups, six groups of people here and a couple people down there. So this is nothing like Quartzsite. Quartzsite is just population. You know, there's a lot of people running around. So tomorrow morning, I don't have the equipment to do my get oil change. So I'm just gonna go up to Mount Olympus and have Zeus help me out. So it'll be a slow crawl up into Oregon, going through the California Valley. I'll stop to see my dad, Zeus, and my sister, and you know, get some hugs and stuff before I go up to Oregon and see my grandbabies. I'm excited about that. I just I wanted to wait until spring, but I got to do the oil change. Plus, I got to do the I got to go up and deal with DMV and. The problem with DMV was I had this thing smogged in 2000 and it's 2002 and that's all they need to know. Even though it's not a full two years, I have to drive all the way up there just to get it smogged. <sighs> anyway, so I'll do that. Slow crawl. So I'm going to take my time. I'm going to stop at Cherryaco Summit tomorrow and just rest my vehicle because like I said, it needs an oil change bad. So I'm not going to run her hot. So I'm just going to, tomorrow's just going to be a three hour drive to Cherryaco Summit where I've been, and that's another nice spot. And say hi to Paul before I head north. He's a good guy, the camp host at the at the dry camp behind the Pat Museum, good guy. Anyway, so then I'm gonna, from there I'll go to Amboy Crater, hang out for another night at that sweet spot, very quiet, get some more sleep. I got really good sleep here compared to the Indian bread rocks, that place, that humming, that was weird. That whole vibrational energy or fucking machinery whatever that was but anyway so hopefully this wind isn't too bad so yeah in the morning first thing headed out Chiriaco summit and then from there up to the sacramento valley san joaquin go hang out with my dad zeus and then do the oil change there and then uh, i'm gonna take my time so i might get there by saturday or sunday and then you know i like besides i tell you if you're gonna go through the sacramento valley do it on the weekend in the morning early like a Sacramento, I would definitely drive through there on a Sunday morning, but that's about it because it's crazy otherwise. So even Sunday morning, I'm sure it's pretty busy, but early in the morning on Sunday is a sweet spot for going through cities, just throwing that out there. If you don't want traffic or deal with a bunch of people, Sunday or even Saturday morning works pretty good. So I'll probably be there Saturday morning. I don't know. Anyway, I'm just going to hang out, do what I got to do, just relax for today, and hope the wind ain't too bad. Anyway, there you go. Uh, I love you. God loves you. The universe is just crazy about you. So have a wonderful day and be positive. Think positive. Love yourself because that's important because I love you. And all this love I'm sending you, you better be enjoying some of it. You better be going, mm, I feel special. He loves me. Anyway, <laughs> I'm, sorry. I'm such an idiot. I mean, I'm going to let you go. I love you. I already said that one. I'm a flirt. It's known. Anyway, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to do a little shout out to the people. Enjoy your stay here. Uh, BLM camping. Only in America. Love and light, people.